Welcome back to Warning 56K. I just wanted to make a quick video going over what I found to be a very nice solution for a customizable home or home lab firewall, the Lenovo M720Q. Released in 2018, the Lenovo M720Q Tiny packs plenty of punch for its small size. Available options for processors ranges from the 8th generation Core i3, i5, and i7 processors, and can even come with an 8-core, 16-thread Core i9 processor. This line of T processors stands for Power Optimized Lifestyle and indicates a lower TDP or thermal design power of around 35 watts, which means better power efficiency, lower heat output, and lower fan noise. This specification, along with the latest generation capabilities, means it's a perfect fit for a small and lightweight home lab firewall. You can find these units online already loaded with an NVMe and 8 gigabytes of RAM for around the $150 to $200 range. With a maximum RAM capacity of up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory spread across two non-ECC SODEM sticks, this means running out of memory will never be an issue. For internal drives, you once again have some really nice options. There's the standard internal 2.5 inch SATA SSD tray, and on the underside, an additional M.2 NVMe 2242 slot. Depending upon which submodel you get, you could potentially have two M.2 NVMe 2242 SSDs, or a single longer M.2 2280 SSD. Right next to these slots is yet another M.2 2280 spot, but the M720Qs do not have the female connector soldered on, or a mounting tab at the opposite end making me believe this is the same board used in the later M90Q that came out in 2020, where these were options. The really neat part about the M720Q is what's located right underneath the 2.5 inch SSD, a PCI Express 3.0 X8 slot. That's right, a usable PCI Express slot in a tiny form factor PC. What this does for the DIY crowd is allow for an additional single, dual, or quad gigabit ethernet card, or even a 10 gigabit card if you're feeling froggy enough. A special riser is required to take advantage of this PCI Express slot, but it's what turns this little machine into the perfect tiny firewall. What's nice is that Lenovo also has the appropriate rear I.O. covers available for the network cards. You can find them as well as the PCI Express riser on eBay for around $30. It may get into a little bit more modding, but if you're up to it, you can also potentially take advantage of the M.2 wireless slot and add in a 10 gigabit network adapter at the rear. One thing to note is that unless your M720Q was built loaded out with options, yours most likely has the standard 65 watt power supply. They do have a 90 watt and 135 watt power supply available, which many people say you need, but when purposed as a standalone firewall with PFSense or OpenSense, it'll spend most of its time idling at only 0% to 1% with very minimal processor usage, at most intermittently maxing out at 8-10% to CPU usage. At the end of the day, very low power consumption that equates to only around 27-30 to 30 watts for the 8th Gen i5 processors. That wraps up this brief overview of the Lenovo 720Q Tiny. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button as it helps this channel greatly. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.